We're now ready to cover the ailerons and the flaps. The framework for all four pieces is the same. The covering is two right and two left. Orientation of the covering to the framework is the nut plates on the framework on the zipper end of the material. Sliding the fabric over the control surfaces, it helps to have a pair of rubber gloves on so you can get a good grip onto the fabric. If you need to get a little bit tighter, you can bang the framework on the corner here so you don't crush any of the aluminum tubing. Now will help pull the fabric down tight. Pull this around, tap it a few more times to get the zipper to come up tight, and close the zipper up. Once you get the bottom skin wrapped around the framework, you can just close the zipper up. As we did on the elevators and rudder, we need to locate the pilot hole for the hinges. Burn a hole through the skin. Then we use our template to mark where we need to cut out for the hinge. Again, a long leg of the hinge goes towards the center. The pilot hole lines up with that arrow. We'll mark that, and that's the section we need to cut out to clear the hinge. Then as we did on the rudder and elevator, we need to cut this area out to clear the hinge. That'll give us an area to rivet the hinge in. It has the same in all hinges. The pilot hole in the hinge is the one closest to the bend. And that gets riveted to the pilot hole in the control surface. Then once we know have this lined up, we'll come back, dr back drill these two holes and rivet them also. And we'll do that the same on all the control surfaces. Once you've finished riveting the hinges in place, it's time to install the control horns. With the Velcro side up, on the end with the zipper, locate the holes through the tubing that go into the nut plates. 
On the aileron, we install the bolts with a washer on each side of the control horn and the control horn facing forward. On the flap, we do the same thing, locate the holes, velcro up, zipper into the flap, and the 90 degree angle of the control horn facing forward. Again, wash around both sides of the control horn.